Well, good morning from the grumpy old git in the corner, aka the gnome at home. <laughs> at least I've remembered to turn the bloody microphone on today. Well, obviously the main story going around now is uh, Ari and Merkel. And uh, you won't get any reports on that on here because I don't give a shiny shite about them really. Everything they got, they're bringing on themselves, uh, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but everything today that's coming out is um, fiscal, as they call it. Financial shit. Uh, you know, they're saying that retail sales now have dropped. And the government are saying they're surprised. Well, this is always the problem with them. They don't live in our world. They live in their own little world where they can afford to buy things that they want, not just what they need. I mean, we're only just surviving, most of us, on what we actually need, not what we want. So think about this when you're buying your Christmas presents. Uh, a lot of things just get put away after Christmas, back of the cupboard, and don't get used again. So think about what you buy for people this year. Buy them what they need. You know, if, if you normally buy them a kitchen gadget that gets used maybe twice in its lifetime, then think about a hamper of food or, you know, a, a voucher to top up their gas or their electricity if they need it. Um, to me, at the moment, this year, the, these are the sort of presents that people need. Not what they want, but it's what they need. So think about that, especially during this cold weather. Because the government aren't going to do anything about the cost of living. They like the fear. They like the power they're holding over people. You know, again, it's going to be a very hard Christmas for many. So, if you know anybody that's having a bad time of it, consider a call, a visit. A few kind words can go a lot, a long, long way to helping somebody. You know, check on your olds if they live near you, or any olds that live near you, because many of these people, like myself, are too proud to ask for help, even when they need it. And these are the people that usually need it the most. Yeah, especially with the globalists continuing their rampage through the country, you know, with interest rates going up again. Obviously, this was agreed between government and the Bank of England. You know, that all these globalists are in it together. You know, they're, they're forcing more people, more businesses down that ladder of debt and poverty slowly strangling the country and there's no sign of any of it ending soon unfortunately and many more are going to die because of what they're doing but yeah you'll get no empathy from them they'll say they're sorry but there's no meaning behind their words there never is but, uh, and it's interesting now <laughs> Um, about the inept way that, well, we know they're inept, we know they're biased, we know they follow the narrative, but mainstream media, there's more and more interviews coming up now with MPs, people in power, and they will never, ever answer a fucking question. Every question that's asked is replied to with a statement. And no matter what the question, the statement will always be the same, same. Now, just for once, for once, I would like to see one of these mainstream media reporters and interviewers to have the bollocks to stand up and say, that is not answering the question. You've given me that answer twice. Now, get the fuck out. This is not a propaganda uh, outlet but they won't 
the second time they opened their mouth with me, I would shut them down, turn them off. But we know their narrative following, they do what they're told. The government has the power over them. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to keep this well short today. I've got things to do. I've got several incoming phone calls that I'm waiting for. Uh, in particularly one from the DWP um, over my health. Um, I've got a phone interview with them this afternoon, so I've got to get all my medical details out. It'll probably come to a load of bollocks because they, they're another group that just don't give a shit about people out here. Doesn't matter what your hardship is, what, what your problems are, what your medical problems are. They ain't shit. They don't give a shit about helping you. But yesterday we got the decorations up, or I did. <laughs> Decorated my little corner. Uh, the big trees over there, you will see that at some point when I move the camera across, probably on the live Sunday with Pap, which we hope will be happening this week. Pap, if you're watching, stay awake. <laughs> All right, and guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. As I say, I'm going to be very, very busy today, so I just wanted to put a quick one out there. <coughs> and until the next time, as always, welcome to the new subs. Um, there was another two yesterday. Um, I won't give your names out until you make a comment in the comment section. Um, or you let me know you want me to put your name out there. I, I don't work that way. But welcome to you guys, from wherever in the world you are. I'm getting a few more from here, there and everywhere now. But until the next one, thank you for your support. My respects to each and every one of you for that support. The channel's slowly getting a bit bigger, and there's some incoming now. Ah, okay. <laughs> and until the next one, no video tomorrow, by the way. Um, stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from the fear they're spreading. Keep yourselves warm. But also as important, keep yourselves hydrated. Many people don't realise you can get hydrated in these temperatures. Respects, guys. <laughs>